We continue our Sunday primetime series on voter fraud tonight with a look at efforts to keep hackers from affecting your vote. Here's senior correspondent Eric Sean. The Department of Homeland Security says hackers have tried to attack the voter registration rolls in 20 states. Russian hackers are suspected of hitting Illinois, grabbing upwards of 200,000 names, and Arizona this summer. In Ohio, Secretary of State John Husted says voter rolls in his state could be vulnerable. Our voter registration system is connected to the Internet, and so that does expose us to a potential cyber attack. Husted is taking measures to block any hacking. He says the state's voter registration lists are backed up every night as a precaution and is confident voters will be protected. I think there's a potential for disruption, but not a potential for chaos because of the backup systems that we have in place. Uh, and we're doing all we can, but as, as I noted, you can never eliminate the threat. In the last presidential election, many states saw long lines and delays of hours at polling places. Some fear if hackers get into the voter rolls this time, they could make the problems even worse by changing names, addresses, and voters' private information. It's a terrifying thought to think that our system could be hacked. The greatest system in the world could be hacked. New York voter Muffy Potter Aston waited hours to vote in 2012 and says there was more confusion in the voter registration rolls when she showed up in April at her polling place at Hunter College in Manhattan for the presidential primary. She hopes officials do have the ability to safeguard the election system by preventing any hack, saying everyone's vote should be protected. We have to be prepared for it. We have to be organized about it. You shouldn't be turning anyone away. Anyone who has a right to vote should be able to cast that ballot without any sort of hesitancy. Ms. Aston also says our computerized election systems should be expanded to make voting easier as well as foolproof. A spokesman for the New York State Board of Elections told us that so far they don't believe they've been hacked, but they are blocking suspicious IP addresses that could be more hacking attempts.